Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to ask a question and maybe hope to answer it, or maybe with the help of you guys be able to answer this question. Why are we giving up our freedoms, our rights to companies such as Microsoft, Apple, Meta? Um, I'm talking about privacy. Privacy is something that people have always held near and dear to their hearts. You don't want your neighbor peeking in your house, right? So why would you be okay with having Facebook listening in on every conversation or having Apple scan every single one of your images? Why would you be okay with Microsoft also listening in on your conversations? But yet here we are in today's society. Every single conversation is recorded. Your cell phone is pretty much a tracking device that you keep on your person 24-7. And today we're going to take a look at some of these real-life examples of how bad this privacy situation has gotten and how it's not going to get any better anytime soon. <clears throat> First one we're going to take a look at is Apple. Apple's CSAM detection system. What this is, is a system that uses AI to search for child sexual abuse material. Which, of course, that's how it all starts. They're going to say, think about the children. This is something that was incorporated into iOS 15.2. Apple announced that they would be using this to search the iCloud for anything in, that could be bad for child sexual abuse material or anything like that. Which is kind of a scary thought if you think about it. If you are to imagine, for example, every single thing, every conversation that you've had on your phone, on your iPhone especially, every picture you take, it gets uploaded directly to the cloud, right? And they're using this AI to search the cloud for what they claim is sexual abuse material, which, that's terrible. No one wants to see that, of course. That's, that's very bad, right? But this AI could easily be directed to search people's personal data for a whole slew of things. It could be anything from guns. It could be anything from, you know, maybe a pipe or a bong or, or whatever. The point is, is that Apple is a proprietary closed source company. They're not going to let out the source code for this AI. They're not going to let anyone know about what they're really doing with this AI or your data. Um, of course, they claim that your data is encrypted before going off to Apple, right? And Which is great, but obviously this AI is capable of going right through that encryption in order to search your personal data. Um, this is quite controversial, as we see in this article. Um, it has not yet officially been put into place in the United States, However, that is probably soon to change. Alright, the next example I want to take a look at is Microsoft. Now everyone knows that Microsoft Windows is always listening to you so it can sell you advertisements right there in the start bar. But Microsoft Teams specifically is a very popular chat, video chat client. It's used for messaging and many more things. And Microsoft Teams obviously tracks keystrokes. Every single message that you say, every word that is said in Microsoft Teams, Microsoft records that information and they use it to quote unquote better, you know, Microsoft Teams, so they say. Now Microsoft Teams can actively report uh yeah, right here they say that it's here to improve the user experience of the program. So when you get on Teams and you create your account you are immediately giving away your right to privacy. So that way Microsoft can quote-unquote improve their software. Now, who knows what they're really doing with that data? Microsoft, once again, a closed-source company. They're not letting out the source code. No one knows how Teams is actually functioning or what Teams is doing with your data. Next thing we're going to take a look at, this is a real-world example in regards to Facebook. Uh, Trump's 2016 election, we had a huge um, data leak with Facebook. Up to 87 million people's personal data was improperly shared with the Cambridge Analytics Department. Um, now, there's a lot more information on this specific data leak, but I bring it up because this is a very real issue. 
um, an issue that could have affected Facebook's entire 2.13 billion users. And this feature has recently been disabled, so they say, but who knows? Once again, Meta, the company behind Facebook, is a proprietary garbage company led by Mark Zuckerberg, who is actually a lizard or a robot. We don't really know, but he's definitely not a human, and he's not someone that I trust with my personal data. But yet, 2.3 million people trust that robot slash lizard with their personal data. So, in light of all this, what can you do? How can you improve privacy? What, what can you do? Obviously, this is a, a problem. People are just giving away their rights, giving away their freedoms for a little bit of convenience. That's my personal belief, the answer right there. Look at the Apple ecosystem. People are happy to give up all of the features that come along with something such as GNU slash Linux right here, so that way they can have an Apple ecosystem where they can be comfy with their Apple Watch and their iPhone and their MacBook and whatever else they want. But it's all just tightly integrated. Everything is uploaded to the cloud. You don't even save your own personal data. You trust another company to hold on to your precious photos. You know, a generation ago, people would hold on to their own photo books. The government was not aware of what kind of data those people had the governments and it's not just that we're talking about entire companies such as Apple or Meta these companies are all out there to well maybe they want to sell you stuff maybe they want to sell your data to other companies maybe the FBI or for example is going to confront Apple and say we have suspicion to believe yada 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 did so and so so they're going to go and go right through Apple's iCloud data with this, you know, CSAM AI, and they're going to use that to search for other things, and they're going to find whatever they want to find on you because all of your personal data is held by Apple. So what can you do? How can you get away from this? The only real answer is to switch to Linux or the GNU operating system. Using free software, check out the fsf.org, the Free Software Foundation. You can learn more about how free software is supposed to work. You can see all kinds of things. The best thing to do at this point is to try GNU slash Linux. Whether you run on Debian, Arch, Ubuntu, it doesn't matter. Any one of these operating systems are free and open source. That's free as in freedom. What you can actually do with this is up to you. You can do whatever you want. You can turn off any sort of data trackers or key loggers if there are any. You can disable them, which, you know, Ubuntu, I believe, is the only one out of those I've listed that sends data back to Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu. And there's a simple checkbox upon installation or in settings. You can actually turn it off. And it's not like disabling Microsoft Edge in Windows, where every time you click on the wrong thing, it opens Edge again. No, it actually disables it. The GNU slash Linux operating system is free and open source, meaning that anyone is capable of auditing the source code. And anyone can make changes to it, or at least push these changes to the main line. And these changes are going to be oversaw by the entire Linux community. If there's a problem, everyone will know about it, and it'll be fixed. It's not like you're relying on the good faith of Apple or Microsoft. This is actually the way it is. Alright guys, stay private, stay safe, install Linux. I'll see you next week. See ya.